This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these isometric block letters that are made of individual Lego bricks uh, using Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here in Illustrator. Uh, the first thing we want to do is just set up a new document to, sized at 1280 by 1280 pixels. And uh, you're going to see here I have this little color palette that I've imported. These are the colors we're going to make the individual blocks. So go ahead and check the description of the video for the link to this image and just go ahead and copy and paste it into Illustrator so we can reference this later on. So uh, what we want to do now is just set up our workflow. We'll come over here to the view menu. Make sure the only things you have selected are smart guides and snap to point. Everything else must be disabled. We'll come over here to where it says window and we want a line, color, and stroke. Uh, enabled there and then we'll be good to get started. So I want to come up here by default the rectangle tool should be selected. I'm going to click on that, click and hold on that and then come down here to, until you get the uh, the polygon tool. So you have the polygon tool selected and bring the cursor to the center of the page like this. Click and drag and then hold shift and alt on the keyboard to create a polygon like that. And now I want to come over here to the colors and I just want to click this rotate icon to swap those colors around so that the fill color is black and the outline color is white. But we don't want any outline at all so I'm going to click on the outline color and click this red X right here to remove it. And then I'll click back onto the uh, fill color to make that activated. And once I've done that I can come over here to the uh, selection tool, bring the cursor to outside of the top right corner over here until, until it turns into a rotation icon for the cursor. And then just rotate it around and hold shift. And I think you, if you bring it around one, two, if you bring it around two steps clockwise like that and you let go, you'll notice we have our corners going vertically up and down like that, which is what we're going for. And what I'll do now is I will just come over here to the opacity and just bring that down roughly in half. Doesn't have to be exactly in half, just somewhere thereabouts is good enough. And I will now grab the direct selection tool and I'll click and drag over these top three nodes right here and using the bottom arrow key on my keyboard I'm just going to click and hold that down to bring these nodes down uh, somewhere about there is pretty good doesn't have to be exactly like mine just a, a rough estimate is pretty good and what I'll do now is grab the select tool and I'll click and drag on this and I'll hold shift and alt to create another copy and snap it right on top of the other one like that right there you might actually have to bring this up a little bit what I'm going to do is oops, I accidentally created another one I'm going to take this object, hold control, grab this node right here and just snap it onto the corner of this object right there. That is what we're going for. We want those two objects stacked on top of each other. And to zoom in and out, I'm just holding down alt and rolling up and down the mouse wheel like that. And to move the page around, I just hold down the space bar and then click and drag. And what I'm going to do now is let's click off of the graphics that we have nothing selected and I'm going to grab the pen tool over here. I'm going to snap to this corner right here, click to create a point snap to this point corner, create another point, then over here, then up here, and then up there. And you'll notice we have that object, uh, which is what we were trying to create. Now I'm going to create another object over here doing the same thing. Let me first, uh, you know what, let me first grab the selection tool, click on that, take the opacity and bring that down about in half as well. Click off of that to deselect everything, and then we'll go back to the pen tool, and I'm going to create another object going the other way. Back to the starting point, and again, we want to grab the select tool, bring the opacity down about 50%. And then I want to take this top object up here, this duplicate copy, and press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. And now I want to create a nice little ellipse right in the center here. So I'm going to come over here to the polygon tool, click and hold on that until we get the flyout menu, grab the ellipse tool, bring the cursor to the center right here, and then click and drag, hold alt so that it creates it from the center and bring this circle out to about, right about there is pretty good. And what I'll do is I'll bring the opacity down on that as well, just like that. Now what I want to do is grab the select tool and I want to click and drag on, let me zoom in a little bit, I want to click and drag on this and hold shift and alt and bring it straight up, straight up to about there, right before the edge of the, uh, the polygon there. We do not want that extending beyond the edge of the polygon, but pretty close right there is good enough. And once we've done that, let me click off of that to deselect everything. I'll grab the pen tool again, which is over here. I want to snap to this left edge, and then snap to this left edge, and then snap to this right edge, back up here to this right edge, and then back to the starting point. And again, we'll grab the select tool. Uh, let me click on that and bring the opacity of that down as well. The, the reason why I'm bringing down the opacity is that so we can see the objects 
uh, through each other. I want to be able to see exactly what I'm working with as far as these objects layered on top of each other goes. And what I'll do now is um, I want to hold shift and click on these two ellipses right here so that we have all three shapes selected. And with all three of those shapes selected, I'm going to come over here to the Shape Builder tool. And I'm going to hold Alt and click on this top portion right there to delete that. And then I'll hold Alt and click on this top portion as well. And then this bottom, this portion down there. And with these portions down here, I just want to unify them all together by just clicking and dragging through all of them like that. And that right there is what we're looking for. Now let me go back to the Select tool. Click off of it to deselect everything and zoom out a little bit. So we now have an individual block. What we have to do now is create copies of it and color them all in using this uh, color palette as a reference. Let me click and drag over all of those objects. Um, let me go over here to where it says opacity and bring the opacity up on all of them. Click off of it to deselect everything. Now I want to take just this polygon right here, the, the overall shape, and I want to press I on the keyboard to get the dropper tool, and I want to fill it in with this lighter shade of red. Now I'm going to press V on the keyboard to get back to the selection tool. These tools are all selectable over here, but if you notice, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts because I'm going to have to be toggling back and forth between them a lot, and it just saves time. It saves a lot of time in order to do that. I want to click on this object right here, press I on the keyboard, make it the darker shade of red. Now press V on the keyboard to get back to the uh, selection tool. Click on this object right here. I want to make this the medium shade of red, so I'll press I to get back to the dropper tool. And again, I'll just come over here. I'll make this the darker shade. And now I'll go back to the select tool. What I want to do is create a couple of copies of these two shapes right here. So I'm going to select this shape, hold shift, select this shape and then click and drag and hold shift and alt and bring it down slightly right about there and what I want to do is let's click off of that to deselect everything select just this shape right here and make it the darker shade of red and then select this shape right here and make that the medium shade of red now we can go back to the select tool again toggling back and forth between select and dropper I'm just pressing V and I on the keyboard to toggle those two tools I'm gonna click this object hold shift click this object and I want to right click them and go to arrange send backward oh, no send to the back so that it puts it behind the rest of the graphic like that and that right there is the first individual brick we have so I'm gonna bring this over here I'm gonna hold shift I'm gonna click and drag and hold shift to scale that down a little bit like that and I want to create another copy of this so I'm gonna click and drag and then hold shift and alt to create another copy and I want to color it in with uh, this shade of blue so I want to take the uh, the light shade. I want to take the light shade of red and, and replace it with the light shade of blue. And uh, same with the medium shades of red. Replace them with the medium shade of blue and so on and so forth. You get the idea. So I'm going to click on this. Use the dropper tool. Let me get back to the, uh, the selection tool. Uh, let me take that object. Fill that in. Take this object over here. And fill that in like that. And there we go. There we have the blue brick. So let me take this, move this over to the left a little bit, and I want to hold Shift and Alt and click and drag to create another brick. I'm going to make this one uh, using the yellow shade. Let me select all of the, uh, the darker shade pieces. You can select them all at once by holding Shift and clicking on them, as you see me doing here. Make those the orange color, then make these that medium shade of yellow. And I'll create another copy of these. I'll make this one green. Let me select these objects right here. Make this the medium shade of green. And then finally, we have the white brick. So let me move this over here. I'm just going to take this top one. I'm just going to make that white like that. And these will be the darker shade of gray. The reason I made that white because the lighter shade up here is white. So. I figured why not why not just use that instead um, let me click this and this and this will be the medium shade of gray so now that we have that I think we can get rid of this graphic now I'm just gonna move it off of the canvas so that's out of the way move that out there into space I want to click and drag over each of these objects and group them together now so I'm gonna click and drag over just the white brick right there and press control G on the keyboard that's gonna group it all together so it's one object like that then I want to do the same thing with the green objects. So I want to click and drag over those, press Control G. Same thing with the yellow, Control G, the blue, and the red. 
And I want to take these and move these towards the bottom of the page. And you might even want to scale them down a little bit so that they're not so big because you're going to be using these individual pieces to construct individual letters and numbers. So um, what you can do now is uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the number two, like an isometric number two from these blocks right here. So I'm going to start off with this yellow block right here. I'm going to click and drag and then hold alt to create a copy. And then I'll hold alt again to create another copy. And I want to hold control and grab this corner and snap it onto this corner over here like that. And what I'll do now is I'll put another one over here only using blue. So I'll use uh, I'll hold alt and click and drag this, hold control, snap this onto the corner right here like that. And if you notice, the blue is layered beneath the, uh, the yellow brick, which is uh, we, we need the opposite of that. We need the, the, uh, the blue to be on top. What you can do is you can right click it and go to arrange, bring to the, uh, bring to the front, but uh, you're going to be using this function a lot as you're creating these letters and numbers. So I would recommend getting comfortable with the keyboard shortcuts because it'll save you a bunch of time. So to bring this to the front, I'm going to press control, shift, and the right bracket. And likewise, if you want to send it to the bottom, you press control, shift, and the left bracket. So let me just put that back up there like that. I'm going to hold alt, click and drag to create another copy. Hold control, put this copy right here. Oh, you may have to try again because sometimes you don't get the exact, it doesn't get an exact fit like you're looking for. So we now have those two blocks next to each other. I'm going to grab a, uh, a white copy over here. I'll hold control and just snap this onto the corner there like that. And then I will, I'm going to make, I'm going to take a copy of both of these two blue bricks hold alt and click and drag. I'm going to snap them. What holding alt does is, is it creates a copy. If you don't hold alt it just moves the object but if you hold alt on the keyboard it creates a copy so that's why I keep saying hold alt. Um, let me create another copy of these two right here. Stack them right there like that. Oh, might have to bring them to the front. Again holding control shift and the right bracket key. And now I'm going to create another copy of these blue bricks. Snap this onto this corner right here. And again, bring them to the front using the keyboard shortcut. And I will create a single blue copy. Put it on top like that. And then I will take a white copy. Put that on top right there. Bring that to the front. And now I will take these yellow copies right here, snap them in there like that, bring them to the front, take another blue copy, snap them in there like that. And then finally, I'm just going to create another blue copy on top right here like this. And again, bring them to the front. And as you can see, we have we have created a number two out of these little Lego bricks here. So that's just to give you an idea of how you can go about creating those individual isometric letters. So if you want, you can get carried away and, and create all kinds of different shapes and designs using these individual bricks right here and stacking them on top of each other and arranging them as you saw that I did here. This is just an example of how to create the number two. So. Uh, I think that should do it for this tutorial. You can you can take what I've given you from here and, and, and run with it and create whatever you'd like. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.